hi guys welcome back to another hair growth video this medicinal herbal hair growth oil will grow your hair like crazy so if you're interested please stay tuned if you're new here welcome my name is Deli Beer. I do natural hair videos natural hair growth oils natural hair growth butters hair sprays my channel is special and unique so if you want to grow your hair healthy then you should be subscribed to this channel make sure to click the notification bell and please turn on the notification bell make sure to click the like button so youtube can recommend this video to others looking for similar videos and please share like thumbs up the video like i said earlier and i give you one minute to please subscribe before we start okay i love you all let's get into the video for today okay guys so this video contains lots and lots of super ingredients and your hair has to grow so you want to start by washing about three cubes of uh, ginger like this and just go ahead and cut them into small beads because we are going to blend but if you don't have a blender as big as they are just use your grater to grate it it will still work the same okay so once I chop this, I'll give you the benefits of ginger to your hair. Ginger is a medicinal root that is used to treat so many um, issues on the body. And for today, we are using it on your hair. And on your hair, it gives ginger will increase your blood flow circulation of your scalp by stimulating the hair follicles to produce strong, thick healthy strands okay i'm adding in a cup of sunflower oil which adds shine moisturizes your hair because we don't want to use water in this video okay the ginger has water on its own so this is just to aid the blending you can use any vegetable oil of your choice and just do this so i'm going to blend while i'm blending i'll continue with the benefits Ginger treats um, dandruff because of its antiseptic properties. It promotes hair growth and other bacterial fungi infections that you are experiencing. It is a medicinal plant, guys. It is so helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and add in one tablespoon of fenugreek guys if you haven't tried fenugreek i have so many videos and it is super helpful when it comes to hair growth okay fenugreek seed is high in protein and nicotinic acid contents which um are which are known to be beneficial against hair fall dandruff hair dryness, boldness, hair thinning. So if you're suffering from all these, it is going to help you a lot. Right now, I'm going in with two cups of my extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil promotes um, shine. It reduces dandruff. It conditions your hair. It moisturizes your hair. Like, guys, this is so helpful like i always say in my tutorials use the oils you have but i'm giving you the benefits of the ones i'm using so that if you want to try it out you should go ahead and do that so i boil my ginger for about 20 to 25 30 minutes on low heat and i'm going to put it aside to cool down once it has cooled down i will just go ahead and sieve it with a dumb cap cheese cloth whatever you have just make sure it is uh separated from the chaffs because you don't need that in your hair okay so once i've done that i put on a gloves because i didn't want too much oil on my hand and it is hygienic as well you don't want to transfer any dead or whatever into your hair growth oil so i advise you prevent that as well if you have it at home and 
this is how the ginger fenugreek and extra virgin oil oil is looking like so you can still end here if these are all the ingredients that you have and just transfer this and con use it on your hair it will grow your hair crazily but if you want to uh, continue just go ahead and add your moringa moringa powder guys moringa is so beneficial on your natural hair it is used for so many medicinal purposes and moringa contains lots of vitamins such as vitamin a vitamin b and uh, vitamin C, E, and it also contains iron, zinc, as well some amino acids which are all helpful to produce a healthy hair. It promotes hair growth because of the vitamins that I just mentioned. And now, when you lack vitamin A, you will experience a lot of problems like dandruff, dry itchy scalp, and also once you do that, you will not be able to lack any of such i added a tablespoon of um rosemary leaves and i'm going to go ahead and start adding my oils i'll leave the benefits of rosemary leaves in the description box and other tutorials as well so black jamaican uh, castor oil helps with hair growth and promotes um it is thick so it is good for high porosity hair you understand yes so whatever type of hair you have this oil will help you so much because I think black Jamaican castor oil is the most thickest of the oils that I use the others are light and perfect so it is good going to go for all hair types and I'm going to list out the names of all the oils I'm using on the screen sometimes I forget to mention them so you go ahead and add whatever um, essential oils that you have I'm adding peppermint oil what I have is what I'm adding if you have more go ahead and put um, five to ten drops of the ones you have even if it's one just add the more you add the more benefits you get and this will treat um issue issues like um itchy scab it helps with dandruff this is lavender all right here and guys since i'm adding new ingredients i'm going to use the hot um heating method on this at this stage you can still put this in a container and leave it to ferment for some days so those ingredients can infuse into the oil but i want a faster process so i went ahead and boiled water in a frying pan i'll place this bowl in it for 30 minutes for the moringa the rosemary leaves and all the other oils to come together like infuse together to release all their benefits okay so this is after 10 minutes of heating and i left it to cool down a bit and i'm going to transfer it in my jar this is still hot guys i'll transfer it into the jar and i'll lock it up for so many hours as much as you can but not more than a day maybe two three four five hours you cover it so they just in continue infusing to get so this is three to four hours after walking around the house i remember to sift the final product and guys you must sift this because the moringa uh, powder will remain on your hair if you don't sift it okay so i'm just shaking this to mix everything and i'm going to place it now in a bowl and use my wig cap to sift this guys this oil here you can apply it on your short hair on a daily basis if you wash your hair on a daily basis if your hair is medium to long hair you can apply it generously from your scalp to your ends of your hair because it will reduce um 
split ends breakage on your scalp is going to uh, deal with dandruff promote hair growth increase blood flow circulation on your scalp don't just apply it guys make sure you massage it really really well and um do not rinse it out guys do not rinse it out you can use this as often as you want because it's, it is a hair good oil it is not harmful you can use it on your chai you can use it on yourself this is natural it doesn't have any effect on your baby and your hair is going to grow like crazy guys so go ahead and put this in a clean container where you'll be using every day or your applicator bottle from this point onward you can go ahead and just uh, use part of it to produce your moringa butter like this one right here it is already in the channel I'll leave the link in the description bar so you can check it out and follow how I made mine to do this because you need the oil and the moringa butter to seal in the moisture in your hair so your hair doesn't get dry it doesn't break it doesn't split you don't experience hair fall and once you do these two together they go hand in gloves okay please if you are watching to this moment like um, make sure to subscribe a lot of you view my videos without subscribing and thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers a couple of days ago. I love you all for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye